Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share with you my 2024 planner stack and what planners I'm going to be starting the year with. Again, I will preface this by saying I probably will jump around in planners, but these are the ones that I am intending to stick with for the beginning of the year. I'm hoping that this will work for me. It is definitely a little bit different from the past. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to start with this little planner here. This is the Ashley Shelley Simply Gilded Collab Monthly Planner. It is gorgeous. I have shared this in a couple different places. I have one of my old um, covers on this and then I added her silver tabs on the side. They are not perfect, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna use this for content planning. I haven't even started it yet. It is gorgeous. I love these little monthly books. She just released some new ones, I think, or she has some new budget notebooks and notebooks on her website. So definitely go check them out. I'll have my affiliate link below. I'm going to use this for content planning. Figured I'd get that out of the way because I might get questions on it. It is stunning. It is beautiful. Let's move on to the next planner. We'll talk about my next Ashley Shelley planner, I suppose. This is my Ashley Shelley signature horizontal planner. And I've already started putting in some information here on the monthly tab, but I'm planning to use this as a catch-all book. And it's gonna replace the Erin Condren Compact vertical that I'm currently using. I wanted something where I could put my schedule as well as to-do lists in this planner. And this is gonna primarily stay on my desk at home I have a full like flip through walkthrough of this planner in a previous video. I'll have it linked below if you're interested, but this just has really basic weekly spreads. It has monthly spreads. You get these cool dashboard pages. She calls them like her self care dashboard, I think. And note pages in between. There's some fun pages up front that I've started to fill in, but I am intending to use this planner as my catch all planner for home. This is going to strictly stay at home. I'm not going to travel with this because the O-ring binding does not travel very well. It bends really easily. And yeah, so that's going to be like my at-home planner for my catch-all book. Probably will be using mostly washi tape in here, but I will be including some stickers because there aren't too many kits that are made for her planners. But you could, of course, use any stickers you have already. Character stickers, quarter boxes, half boxes, all of that stuff will fit in here. There's just, I don't think I've found a shop that has stickers that are specific for this planner, but I'll be on the lookout for them because I think that's needed. And this cover is stunning. So those are the two Ashley Shelley planners I'm going to be using. My goal setting should come as no surprise, and that is going to be my Moxie Life Undated Monthly Planner. This will be my goal planner for 2024. I am so excited. I love the Moxie Life system. It has changed my life over the past few years, and I am sticking with it in 2024. The difference for me this year is that I'm going to be using this version of it. In 2023, Three, this current year, I used the companion notebooks, which were fantastic and worked great. But I knew they had released this product last year and I didn't pick it up. I saw someone on YouTube, I talked about this previously, mentioned that this was still available for purchase. So I went ahead and ordered it, I think at like the end of October. And I've already, already started using goal setting in here. I've shared my intentions and my word of the year. I'll be sharing my yearly goals very soon. But it's a very simple book for goal setting. You get your monthly spreads, your monthly goal setting pages, and then every week you have your weekly actions where you can do your reflections on the left. And then at the end of the month, you get a monthly reflections page. And then at the end of the quarter, there should be I have to figure out where it is. You get your quarterly compass to do quarterly reflections, which is really neat. So this is undated, but I'm gonna use it all year long. If you want more like detailed information on this, I can share it. Like I said, there will be a video coming where I will talk about my 2024 annual goals. They are set, they are done. Worked on them this past weekend, it was great. I'm so glad to have that finalized for the year. Nothing like earth shattering, I guess, in my goals because of what I've gone through this past year. But yeah, so that will be my goal planner. I have stuck with this system so consistently compared to other systems. It's kind of wild. This system 
has worked wonders for me since switching to it a few years ago. I love Moxie Life. I love their brand. I love what they stand for. And I'm so, so excited to be using this again in 2024. So that's goal setting. We'll put these guys over here. The rest of these planners are new to me and new to my system. And we're going to see how they work out. I'm just going to get this notebook out of the way because it's here. This is a moleskin notebook. I got this at Marshall's over the weekend. It is just a red notebook with grid paper. And I'm going to use this as a work notebook. I don't really need a work planner because I have my calendar and email all in Microsoft Outlook. Um, but this I'm going to use for note taking purposes. Once my current notebook runs out, I have one that is company branded. So I'm not going to show you that today, but that's just a basic lined notebook that's on a spiral. Once that one is used up, I'm going to switch to this one. The sticker is from red bubble. I just added it on here because I thought the red poppies and flowers went well with this. And yeah, it's just going to be a notebook for work and that's all I'm going to use it for. I hope I stick with it and I was really, really surprised when I found this at uh, TJ, was it TJ Maxx? Yeah, I think it was, it was TJ Maxx. I found this for over the weekend for like $6. I was shocked. I've never seen moleskin at a TJ Maxx before. So definitely keep your eye out for it. It's a really nice quality book for $6. I thought that was a steal for a little notebook and I'm excited to use this for work. Let's get into the last two planners, which I have here. The first one is my 2024. I'll see if my camera will pick up on the, I don't think it's going to zoom in. This is my 2024 N2 compact common planner from Sterling Inc. in the beautiful like caramel color. The binding here just says 2024. My camera is not picking up on it for some reason. I'm going to use this as my everyday carry planner. So when I'm not home or I'm at the office, like I said, I'm not going to be carrying my Ashley Shelley with me everywhere. It's big and like I said, the, the O-ring binding is fragile. This is going to come with me. I have already started to do a little bit of setup in here. I'll show you quickly. I've added these stickers here from Redbubble. I am obsessed with them. I just think they're so cute and love them. I've added some stickers here from not in this planner, they're in the other planner, sorry. But I have started to add a few things. If I can find the page. Started adding some notes in here. Here's the December monthly, just a very basic page. These gold tabs I got on jet pens. They were out of stock for a really long time and I ordered them a few weeks ago. I have a haul on Instagram if you wanna check that out. But I have these little page tabs. So I have one on December because we're still in December. Um, I've started to put a little bit of information here in January, and then I put another tab on the first week of January. I'm super excited to incorporate this as my on the go planner today. Actually, when I'm filming this, it's December 12th or 13th. I will be getting a cover for this. I ordered a Moterm cover on Amazon. It's this gorgeous green color, I believe. So that will be what protects this planner. I do also have the like plasticky cover from Sterling Inc. But it was one of the ones that was like messed up in her warehouse and I don't have a blow dryer so I can't massage it very well to fit with this planner. So I'm going to try the Moterm cover out, see how it fits. My cat is going to enter the frame here because I'm filming this on the floor. But um, that's going to be my everyday carry is the Sterling Inc. Weeks planner. Super excited to use this and we'll definitely keep you updated on how this works out. Sometimes I will not use an everyday carry very much because I don't leave the house a lot because I work from home primarily now, but I wanted to have this in case I'm out and about on the go heading to meetings because I will be doing some of that in the new year. And I just wanted to have something that I could reference. So definitely we'll be using this. It has a ton of like notes pages too, like a hundred something of them. It's not the full like weeks version, which has like a week day per page. This just has like a hundred something. It's very compact, which is why I got it. It's the equivalent of the Hopanichi Weeks Planner. So that's my everyday carry. Super excited to use this in 2024. I can't believe it's gonna be 2024, it's crazy. The last planner I have to share with you is this 
book that I'm so excited to start a memory keeping and journaling process in this book. This black cover is a Moterm cover. I have gone crazy. These covers are fantastic quality. They remind me of like Filofax covers, but they are so nice and they are very affordable. I think this cover cost me like maybe 40 or $50, but this is gonna be for my Hobonichi Techo. I'm gonna put the cover aside for a moment. I'm gonna use this for memory planning and journaling. I'm so excited. I have tried journaling in the past. It has not worked. And as of late, I've been really feeling the need to journal more. So that's why I'm gonna start doing this in 2024. And I'm super excited. So let me show you what I've done so far for setup. I've added these stickers on the front, these stickers on the inside cover. Everything is from Redbubble. They were having a sale and it was like, I don't know, 10 or 20% off when you ordered like 10 stickers or something. So I got a bunch of them. So we have the inside cover. I love this owl sticker. I'm obsessed with owls, if any of you know me. Then I put one here. On the inside pages, I added some stickers from Lexi Kylie Designs. This one got a little messed up, but I don't care. And then we have the like monthly, I don't know what they call these pages, but they're like these tracker pages. I haven't decided how I wanna use these. Then you get some of the first quarter of 25, which is nice. You get your monthly pages. And on these, I've added some clear backed monthly labels. These came from Lexi Kylie Designs. I really love the scripty font she used. So I filled that in as some primary setup. I haven't decided what I'll use the monthly pages for in this book because it's gonna be primarily for memory keeping, but I'll come up with something. I just haven't nailed down that specifically. We do have a 2025 couple of months in here, which is nice for future planning. Then we get all of the daily pages. So these are a page per day, every single month, as you can see, going all the way down the side. I do have another order coming in from the Coffee Monsters Co. that has some more stickers, specifically for like my Hobonichi and my Weeks Planner that I think are some tabs and some other stickers that I'll probably be adding on there, but it won't look too much different than what you see today. So these are just a page per day. And my intention is to use them for journaling. So every single day in 2024, I'm intending to journal. Even if it's like a sentence, I don't care. I just want to. And this is the English version, if you're curious. There are some pages in the back and then some of these like template things they add, which is cool. But this is gonna be my memory keeping slash journal book. And I'm so excited to hop on and try out a Hobonichi book. And that, my friends, is everything in my 2024 planner stack. I think it's gonna suit me really well. I'm excited to dive into all of these books in the upcoming weeks. If there's anything else you wanna see more comprehensive flip throughs of or walkthroughs of or setup videos of, let me know and I can do more of those in the future. Otherwise, I'd love to hear from you. Have you picked out your 2024 planner stack yet? If so, what are you going to be using? I love to hear that from different people. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new here, and I will see you all in my next video. Take care.